What's up, J Mob? I am back with another video. If you see me with this shirt on twice, that means I record two videos in one day, okay? Like I've been doing for the last two days. So that means I have four videos coming for you guys all week. No, starting on the Friday, which is October 4th. Yeah. But I'm trying to wait. I can't be f with. No, no, you can't touch this. Hey, we try to reach. Huh, my money thick. Hey, walk with a limp, limp. Huh. My, alarm, my alarm clock just went off, so my video stopped recording. But um, this video is about how I found out I have anxiety and I have depression. Okay, so I was like in the eighth grade, right? And I was really like going through... I don't know what I was going through. It's not like, it's not, I don't know. Okay, so, I was in the seventh grade. I constantly got sick. Not like, <laughs> sick, like, sick, like my stomach, my head, like I was always hurting. And I never like really experienced that. And my mama and everybody thought it was my period. And I thought it was my period too, but it wasn't my period. So, boom, I'm just, Going through this, I started missing school a lot of days. I did not want to leave the house or anything like that, y'all. So, I'm thinking maybe I'm just sick. I just need to rest. I knew something was wrong with me. I knew I was sad. I knew I was didn't want to go nowhere. I knew I didn't want to deal with nobody. But I never said anything. Like, I never said anything at all. So... One day, I'm just laying in my bed, and I just start crying and crying and crying. I don't know why I was crying, but I was just crying, y'all, like, just crying. Like, I just knew something was wrong. I started to hate school. My grades was slipping. I was arguing with teachers. Like y'all like seen in the eighth grade video, I was arguing with teachers. In the seventh grade video, or oh, y'all let's see that one because I ain't post that one. But I was arguing with teachers, I was getting suspended, I was getting urgent, I was getting all type of stuff, I was getting trouble at home, everything. Like, I was never a bad child until like sixth through like sixth through eighth grade. Those was my worst years that I really like dealt with honestly and in high school i was just depressed about myself other stuff that was going on in my life that i choose not to talk about but um yeah around that time like i felt like i wasn't accepted by anyone i felt like i was always alone that's how i always felt when like the sixth through eighth grade um Let me see. It got to the point where I didn't want to go to football games because my anxiety would go up about what people would think about me. Or I didn't want to order my food at restaurants because I feel like I was going to stutter or mess up. And they were going to talk about me. It got bad to the point where I didn't want to do anything but stay at home in my bed. And my folks, they even knew, like, something was wrong with me. Because it was like, Mama, you always staying at home. But they didn't know, like, I was depressed and they had anxiety. They didn't know that. I didn't know that. And, um, yeah, so, it came to a point where I cut everybody out of my life. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I had an attitude with everybody. I didn't want to deal with nobody at all. Like, I didn't want to deal with nobody like I didn't care about anything. Like, at all. Like, I just didn't care. Like, at all. And one day, it came to a point where I just started throwing up everywhere. Like, throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. Just throwing up. And my stomach was hurting. I had to go to the hospital several times because of my stomach. And... I start eating stuff that I have no business eating. 
I just didn't care. I didn't care at all. Like, at all. Like, nothing nobody said mattered to me. I didn't care. I was just being me and trying to live my life without doing anything crazy. So, I just start eating and 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 eating and, eating and, eating and never stopped. But it's okay that to, for me to talk about it now because I don't deal with that no more. Like, I'm, I'm trying to change my life. And if people notice that I don't talk to them no more, then they're toxic. That's all y'all need to know about that situation. But, yeah, so, honestly, like, when I started custody go to the hospital, I went to my doctor, doctor. And I was telling him what was going on with me. And he told me that I suffered from social anxiety. I, su I suffer from social anxiety. And I also... Okay, that's fine. Period. Um, I suffer from social anxiety and I was depressed. And when he told me that, he called my mama to the back and he made me stay in the room. And he took my mama out and told her something. I don't know what he told her. Or whatever, but from then she started acting kind of weird towards me, like always in my face, always in my face. And I was like, "Oh my God, what did she? What did he tell her? Like, what's really going on?" And that was gonna take me to a therapist, but I kind of didn't want to go because I, I honestly felt like, how would they know what the hell I'm going through? You know what I'm saying? Like, how would you know? And if I tell you, you tell me, no, that's not true, then I'm going to get mad. I ain't going to want to talk no more. So, of course, I didn't go. And I kind of regret not going, but I kind of do feel like I shouldn't have went, so I didn't go. But from that moment, I found out I had anxiety and depression. It's like it got 10 times worse. And I didn't know how to deal with it, so I started by in, 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 staying at home. So... I had to find me something to do to constantly keep that stuff off my mind so I could be okay. So I don't have to, like, be, like, depressed or my anxiety goes up. So I constantly try to make wigs. I constantly try to make videos. I should craft, start my hair business. I do stuff like that to keep it off my mind. And it's kind of working, y'all. It's like, it's kind of working. And I want to tell people out here who are depressed and have anxiety, tell somebody before it gets 10 times worse like me because it's it's bad, y'all. It's bad, but I'm good. You know what I'm saying? It's bad, but I'm good. <coughs> it's bad, but I'm good. Like, I'm perfectly fine. I don't have to worry about none of that stuff no more because I know how to kind of cope with it and stuff. If you ever feel like you're depressed and have anxiety, make sure you contact me because I know how it feels. I know, like, I know that people need somebody to talk to. I know all that stuff. I know it. I know it. I know all that stuff, y'all. I know all that stuff. So just make sure you, like, contact me. Please do that. Y'all might eat. My ends, y'all. I thought I was gonna have to wear it until I see how it look on camera. Find you something to do. Don't just sit at home and be depressed or your anxiety messed up because it's gonna get worse. So find you something to do. Talk to somebody. Do something because you want to live your best life. You don't want to be like, oh my god, I spent all my teenage years. I spent all my adult years depressed. Like. No, you don't want to do that. So you need to talk to somebody. You need to be happy with yourself. You need to self love is the best love. I'm telling you, anybody gonna love you like you love yourself. So you gotta love yourself, and I'm still learning how to do that. But you have to do it. 
and I change for the better. People notice that my attitude changed. People know that I'm smiling all the time. Usually I just be frowning all the time. I had that B face. So, yeah, it changed me for the better. I'm still changing. And, yeah, so that's one thing about my depression and anxiety when I found out and how I deal with it now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell because the notification mob is the best mob in the nation. Period. Uh, period. I love you guys. Bye. Make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. It's in the description down below. Go run it up. Oh, 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 oh. I love you guys. Bye. Okay, running up them bands, trying to bow till I fall. Running from his bitch, he gon' come when I call.